Hi Theo, I'm back again. Oh, and to me? Yeah. And for them? Yeah. And YouTube? And uh, I want you to make my hair something... Less fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> Do something with it. Yeah, it's <laughs> a long time. Yeah, very long time. So in the before Corona time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Can we turn so you yes. can see how your hair is now? <laughs> it's still not the worst hairstyle, but it's dry and it's uh, filled, built, blonde. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Nick. <laughs> Hello, friends on YouTube. Gonna do the Nick's hair again. Now, of course, I start with protection. And there's a lot of you asking if I can show the putting on of the cape. Well, it's possible. Then I have to bring her a bit back so we have more stage. Okay, can I stick it out? Yeah. Okay, now you can see it a bit more. And I have blue cape for her. And of course, a neck paper with the same color glue on it. But thank God, it's blue. Mm -hmm. Now, she really loves this kind of hairstyles. And she showed me some photos. It's a bit barby, it's short on this because it's just leaning on the ears. It will be darker of color with some highlights in it and it will be a stronger frame in it. So it's a total change of the last time we did her hair because then she had, uh, what was the color all over? <laughs> Pink? Yeah. Pinkish? Yeah, yeah, pinkish color. So this will be more autumn with a little bit sunshine in it. Start by wetting the hair. Hier gaat zitten of zo. Dat ja, zeker. Wat een bij dat ze een vier een stuk krijgt. Dat is schrikkelijk. Ik ja, heb het ook gewoon zelf gedaan, hè? Twee keer. Ja, ik niet zeg niet hoe dat je niet dat mag dat doen. Ik voor elkaar gekregen. Ja, dat wist ik zelf doen. Oh. Ik zei al, dat kan niemand beter als jij. Wat zeg je? Dat kan niemand beter als nou, jij. Nou, dat is wel spannend hoor. Ik moet zo'n keer vloeken. Wat heb ik toch ook gedaan in die film? En eh. Uh, ja. Okay, let's start on making some hair. We'll make ultra fine parts below the lines, over the holy bone, turning to the back, and end behind the ear. Show you in a minute the lines and parting. Like a Carl. Hmm? Like a Carl. Yeah. Carl is still a Yeah. So this I make sure. I'll show you the line. So I made a, a line small near to the ear, but just to get rid of that part of hair because this is mostly hair that doesn't work the way you like it. Okay, this I do scissor of gum. Because when I do this with a clipper, it's no, not enough hair to do that. Set the line of the side beards in the same line as the chin line. So also the undersides of the eyes, the lips. Make a nice soft connection to the skin lines. Clean this. Pull the ear down. Get rid of the small hairs above the ear. So now we can see a lovely ear. Clean the control with a small clipper and don't lean on it because we're going to color the hair and I don't want damage to skin. Then I come to the part behind the ear. Who's <laughs> behind the ear? Put the ear to the front. Set it in my comb and take away this small part. So I only get a nice free line to the underlines. Knowing that I get rid of that. Clean the contour again. And now I can see a wonderful neckline. Because she has also a nice neckline. Mm. This will lay back. Then I know where she wants to go. Because she wants to get rid of 
all this hair beneath it. But maybe we go in a curve. I don't know yet. She has a natural parting line. Mostly she has this line. So I know this. So I go over the line, connect this line and go into the fall of the skull lines. I find myself a way down. Show you the parting line in a second. I make a disconnection on the lights that lay beneath it because I want the upper hair just freely fall over it. And this part will be short and then travels in a bit longer. So I take my uh, Kion clipper, take a large flat comb, oh, yeah, like. and get rid of a lot of hair. This under hair, I will color a little bit darker than the upper hair to give it a strong effect. When I get on the parts behind the ear, I cut down. Leaning against the fall of the hairs with my nice flat comb to create the best effect. Put the blade to the back, clean the line around the ear. Like a fries? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Natural blonde. <laughs> Doesn't matter love. <laughs> Gently go in with my clipper on the line of cutting and on the connection of the upper hair and the under hair. Clean it in between. Clean first the front. Same line as the chin line. Don't hang on the blades. Talking Dutch between. What I told you, now I go down because I want to end around the other part of the ears. Put my comb in, lift the hairs up, let my clipper do the work. Watch in the meantime to that ear. Leaning against the fall of the hairs. On the lines. Put my comb upside down. Put my blade to the back and just play with the combing effect of the blade. Leaning on the skin, but don't force on the skin. Following the natural lines, because she has really wonderful lines in the neckline. But there's also a curve in it. So I play with that effect. Turn a bit more so you can see a bit more. I want to travel to the other part of the ear. So I just set in my comb, decide where the other part of the ear is with the first part of my comb and go into that line. And then just hollow it.
because I made a slight disconnection on the first part, this part, I can go a little bit higher. When the hair has been wet, you certainly will see that it falls a bit down and in the natural lines. Come to the other lines and take my small clipper. Use the natural lines. And don't lean too hard on the skin. Still we have to color. And her skin is very sensitive for forced things. So I have to take care of that. Also cleaning in between. So the small hairs don't irritate the skin also. But see how wonderful, lovely and soft this neckline is now. Mm. Sexy hair. <laughs> oh my god. Head wrestle. I want some sexy hair. <laughs> I am too sexy for your hair. Yeah. Too sexy. <laughs> too sexy. Ja, dat gaat alles goed. Oké, okay, coming to the longer part, because now we decided where the lines will be. So first comment on it, knowing that I have a little bit slight disconnect and this I will do with a hot razor, because then the fall of the hairs is much nicer than when I do it with a uh, scissor. So wet the hair again. Lay it on the natural roundings. Put the part behind the ear to the back and the rest to the front. Twist that up and set it aside to each. Okay, coming to the longer hair on top. Put my uh, hot racer of Ergo, of course, on 190 degrees Celsius. So I don't have to force anything, it just travels through the hair. Hold the hairs in the natural lines. Go in from the back. And you can see that working with hot tools is good because before Corona time I did this part and it's still good hair. And it was bleached and it was colored and still it's hair. So I would go for a hot racer if I could. And even when I could not, I would beg Ergo to give me one. Please. See how easy it is to go into this line. Just holding it. Be sure that's wet because otherwise it doesn't seal the hairs. And just travel in very nicely. Lay the hairs a bit over rounding in the opposite lines. So I'm certain that when they travel over, I have also here a connection to the line. And lay them on the roundings of the skull bone so I get a lot of volume afterwards. Turn a bit, otherwise I cannot see what I'm doing in that corner. Knowing that here is a disconnect, of course. And this part is a bit dry, so I take this to the front. And I just give it a rounding of the line that's laying above it. So now it travels into this line. It stays nicely on the place where it needs to be. Coming to the front, straight up here. See how nice stiff this uh, dried hair is. Hmm. I see the difference in length because now you can see the difference in length. Take off about uh, five centimeters. Hmm. Oh, thank God. You liked it. You told me so. Yeah. <laughs> you love to be bold. <laughs> nay, 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 nay. You love me because I'm bald. I love my Lokia. <laughs> I love my Lokia. A Lokia is uh, something like uh, a fringe on the side, like this, hanging down on the side. She loves her Lokia. <laughs> Dutch word. Take her Lokia to the back. 
connect, find the connection on the lines of the back. Go in with, with my hot racer. Watch at the beautiful chin line. Het heel erg werkt, hè? En voor dyslectisch praten dan. So following that line. And also takes her ass up in that line. Ik doe een part on it. And I work this part a little bit out because otherwise it's a bit too thick and especially on to the back. And when I hold my blade on the hairs, it just goes into the hairs. The part that's a bit too thick is the part just behind the ears. This is a part in the line of the abba line. Pin the hairs away, take the hairs up. And only with the tip of my knife, I go in and thin it a bit out. And do this only on the, on the lines. To give this a playable effect and not a hard part of hairs. All gives also more feeling of air behind the ears because it gives a freedom feeling. It's lighter, so it's the upper hair I leave because this I need to hold the hairs on place. So so far the cut. So I can make a color. Okay, made uh, the color for the Nick. Made uh, glint color. I set the recipe of it into the video. Mix it in a bowl. Made it with three percent as stem volume. So the less. Peroxide I have to use, the better it is for the skin. And Glint is a product line from uh, the Swiss, getting on the market by Germany, and means uh, glow. And they have a lot of products for uh, skin with also pro real problems. And they have really solutions for that. But that's why I also use this product. We'll color this uh, color on top, so it will be a, be a bit brownish. But the other lines will be darker, so I give it also a bit uh, black into it. But that I'll do on the end, just to give it a more trendy effect. And I give it some highlights on top, but that you see in the video, of course. First, I'm applying this color on my hair, just following the natural lines. And then I'm back to show you what I do with the other colors. So I have all the color on my hair. Lay it first down like this because now I have to color the underlines and the underlines will be darker. So now you can see really nice how the underlines are and how short they are. I do. Yeah? I do. I do. <laughs> I'm pushing her. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> Kidding. So now I've made in this same product. A small part, just about five centimeters of black, that's a zero. So I created this line, even darker of color. It's still the same amount of peroxide, of course, don't change that. But I want to stronger this line, so I need this to be a little bit more funky. Hmm. And this is to, to the total line. And then I lay the hairs back in the line of cutting and let's lay some highlights on it. The highlight I made is what uh, 6%. It's a bleach, a glint bleach, blue bleach. Made with 6%, but I put in a lot of conditioner, step one, to get it into a real nice treating nursing line. That is what I like about glint, it's, it's real nursing to the persons and to your customers and of course also to my models in that case. So now I have this line stronger 
make sure there's enough on it. And because I want to get the color in the right condition and the right things, I o open up the color so the, can, the air can freely go between the colors and the hairs because when you have air in the hairs, the color develops much nicer and better than when you just stick it on the head like this. Of course I cannot hang the flap to, to the front so I leave it to the back. Just gently come through the hairs starting in the underlines and building up to the front. So the ends I come first. Don't force anything just gently go down. Now coming to the parts where I want some highlights into the hairs. So I take up some parts, not too much. Take plastic foil, lay there on it. And don't have to be from the start. It's just for the funky effect. Mm. Pull the plastic foil beneath it. And the bleach I lay, of course, on the hairs I just colored. This I do because the hair will be certainly more protected and the line of coloring is in line with the lines that are beneath it. The bleach I created with uh, 6%. 20 volume. Make a nice soft overflow. No hard lines at all. Just close up. Then I close my plastic foil. Then we're going to wait for uh, 40 minutes without heat, 20 with heat. So, we'll be back after that, rinsing out and styling. Hello, back from coloring. Now you see the color is a lot darker. That was also the thing we wanted. Mm. So I now put on a revitalizing milk before going to blow dry the hair. Comb this product through the hairs. Starting to blow dry with a medium brush and of course my Kiona uh, blow dryer. Brushes are from Ergo. And it's also the tool uh, factory from the Hot Racer. Start on the front, work on the way to the back. I can get the impression of the cool blonde color she has. I do this, of course, and then we're back with the end to uh, blow it up. Dat is zo mooi aan. Ja, je ziet het ook. Dat is wel lekker glad. Zo so far blow drying. Nou, only needs a bit hairspray, not too much, not too less.
Give her a bit volume. I really love the colors. Uh, thank Danique for being my model. Thank you for watching. Till next time. She will certainly turn and show you the end result. It's mooi, hè? It's mooi. It's nice. Super nice. Heel nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I want you to make my hair something less fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> Do something with it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah, very long time. It's in the before Corona time, I think. Yeah, yeah. Can we turn so you yes. can see how your hair is now? <laughs> it's still not the worst hairstyle, oh, yeah. but it's dry and it's uh, filled, built with blonde. Good. Okay, thank you very much, Nick. <laughs>